The Liberal Party in Canada has won 184 seats, giving them a majority in the Canadian Parliament, so that means that Justin Trudeau will be the new Prime Minister of Canada. Now, this is the son of Pierre Trudeau, who was Prime Minister before. Uh, now, Justin Trudeau may not be the perfect person to be Prime Minister, but to put this in context, our buddies north of the border have basically just experience what would be, as many would argue, the Canadian George Bush. Stephen Harper was their George Bush, and he served not two, but three consecutive terms. He was prime minister for almost a decade. Uh, now, <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, thankfully, he's only going to serve as a member of parliament now. So when it comes to Justin Trudeau, for all of the American viewers who don't know who he is, uh, you should be glad that he won, but what you can expect is an individual who is very much going to run the country as President Obama would. The Liberal Party is much akin to the Democratic Party in the United States. They're very centrist, center-leftish, they're corporatist. Uh, so, for example, Justin Trudeau is in favor of approving the Keystone XL pipeline. No surprise there. Uh, and furthermore, he is in favor of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which is just a large giveaway to corporations. So... He is following in line with uh, the Democratic Party. Now, there is a lot of really great things about Justin Trudeau. Now, first and foremost, he's going to push to legalize marijuana, which would be excellent. That would be really, really fantastic. And that would kind of uh, hopefully put the rest of the world on pace to do the same thing. Now, he's also ending Canada's combat mission in Iraq and Syria. And that's also good. We don't need to be getting involved in things that don't concern us. He's also pledged to welcome 25,000 Syrian refugees. Again, kudos to him because this is something that's excellent. Now, another thing uh, that I think is great about Justin Trudeau is that he actually plans to forge a North American environmental treaty to combat climate change. So between uh, the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. Uh, and... This is what is great. Uh, so I'm hoping that he's going to be a leader at the upcoming climate talk in Paris. So let's see how well he performs in that regard. But we'll have to wait and see. Now, also, one thing that should have happened a long time ago is that he's going to be investigating the 1,200 indigenous women that just disappeared in the country. Stephen Harper didn't do anything about this, but Justin Trudeau is actually going to do something because if you have 1,200 people who are part of one group who are disappearing, that's an epidemic and something is seriously wrong. So I can't comprehend how Stephen Harper didn't even care and didn't want to investigate this. So kudos to Justin Trudeau for doing what is pragmatic and just right. So in the end, he may not be perfect, but I am super proud of Canada. You guys, man, I I'm so happy for you because <laughs> Stephen Harper, ugh, he he was not he was not a good candidate. Look, I don't think he's as bad as George Bush. Uh, I don't think he's as bad as Tony Abbott in Australia. But I mean, for Canadian standards, I hold you guys to a higher standard because I think that uh, your political system is a lot more sane than ours. Kudos to you guys! I'm super stoked for my Canadian viewers and my Canadian friends. Uh, this is great news. <laughs>